Welcome back. Um, last time I believe we left off at 23 Dawn. We're continuing to play 10 minute games. Uh, also, Happy New Year. And uh, let's see uh, how we do this time. So, each day we get to play three games. This makes for an interesting video format, I think. Um, I'm continuing to play Swinging Rook strategies, meaning my king always castles to the right, my rook always moves to the left, and this leads to complex positions in general. Um, so this is not so much heavy on the memorization just yet, uh, but it requires me to be a bit creative. All right, good luck. Okay, they're pushing over here. Um, yeah, let's transition to a central foul rook. Okay, they're a central foul rook. They're playing some really heavy strategy where all their generals just sit in the center of the board for a very long time. We'll play this to him and the bishop. They'll untrap their bishop, and now I just need to be careful not to get overwhelmed as this silver approaches. So my king is safe. Um, now my king's actually safe. Um, hmm, interesting. Can I trap? No, this is bad. Um, just play sensible moves. It'll be fine. So let's play our silver to stop this silver from going too far. And in response, they play this pawn forward. And they play the knight out. That surprises me a bit. Um, because moving this knight around looks challenging. Um, also, I could start to strike at the knight's head. So I'm encouraging them to push this pawn. They're not. Uh, I could start something aggressive here. Or do I play the rook to the third file instead? Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Okay, let's try to get rooks exchanged. Because I don't see how they're going to break on this side of the board. And a rook exchange could be useful for me to attack with. Um, before we do that, let's solidify our castle. All right. Now we offer the Rook Exchange? Or do I delay it one more move because I don't see them attacking? Let's delay once more. They blocked their bishop. Much to my surprise. Um... I don't understand their strategy here. So I am offering a rook exchange, which I expect to be declined, because their king is so exposed here. Um, I've put my generals together, done what I can to hold their silver and knight at bay. Um, yeah, this looks tricky for them. I think I expect them to put a pawn here, which becomes a target for my Rook and Knight. But what else can they do? Well, even putting the pawn there is not so useful. 
so the pawn prevents their knight from moving. Um, I have a pawn in hand, which I can use to attack at some point. Uh, some point is now, isn't it? So I could put a dangling pawn, rook takes, and I push here. Or do I push here first? They push here. I pu uh, It's tricky. To dangle or not to dangle right now is the question. Um, I could also push on the first file. But that doesn't seem to get very far. Um, well, further, I'm not really threatening rook takes pawn. Um, so if I push here, they attack my silver, I take, they take my pawn, I don't have any follow-up. If I dangle this pawn, if they take it, I'm okay. If I don't take it, I'm not so great there. Um, Yeah, this has me confused. But I assume if I if they don't take this, there's something I can do. Um, but I also assumed they would probably take this. Although this leads to a complicated position. So we offer our silver. And do we put a pawn down, scare their silver away? I think so. I'm trying to get some exchanges because their king is so exposed. Um, and so now I can... No, I could take the pawn giving up my silver. That doesn't look right. Um, I did mention wanting exchanges, but giving up an entire silver is painful. So back we go, and then we can attack these two pawns at our leisure. Um, oh, you know, back we go again, because we have to retreat. Alright, uh, I'm just hanging everything now. That's exciting. Um, we'll oppose this bishop. Somehow, so what happens when you start running from an attack is that it just gets bolder and bolder. Um, so, yeah, this is now suddenly a major problem. Um, exchanges could still be useful. It's just how am I going to get useful pieces out of this after exchanges. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll continue onward, although this looks doomed. All right. Oh, we're giving heavy material already. That's not great. Um, it's not what I dreamed of. Hmm. Oh, well, that's not even running from a fork. That's just running into trouble. Hmm. Yeah, if you're going to play such bold moves, you have to have the tactical chops to back it up, and they do. So fine, we're offering heavy material. There's nothing I could do to stop it. My lance and rook protect each other now, but um, attacking their king is still my best hope here. Um, it's just not easy. Um, I have a pawn in hand, which is not useful. Yep. A simple, natural, obvious move. And what do I do against it? I don't know.
That's a really sad reply, but again, what can I do? Fine, take your dragon. I don't care. Maybe I care. Um, let's hit this knight over here. Try to stir up something, which gives me any kind of activity whatsoever, if we can just shake up this castle-shaped thing. Um, so the closer I can attack, the better off I am. I still have a half Mino castle built over here. It's not like I'm completely out of resources, although this is painful. Um, okay. I guess I'll take a knight exchange. It's, oh, that's not a knight exchange. That hurts. Um, hmm. Fine. I guess I have nothing. And we'll continue to have less and less of nothing. Um, there's nothing I can do about this. That's disappointing. Nifu. <laughs> Okay, screw it. Let's give up the Rook for a Lance. I just need something to attack with. Alright. Our Rook's hanging. Um, hmm, I am out of pieces. I am completely out of pieces. So here I am offering my rook for a promoted pawn. It would be nice if I had something other than a pawn that I could use to attack with. Um, that's not useful. I'm trying, but this is not easy. Guess we'll have to attack down the fourth file, because we have nothing else to attack with. Uh oh. Right. I can't even put a pawn on the fifth file to stop sacrifices from happening. Um Alright, fourth file attack, here we go. It's doomed because his bishop already covers the square in question, but uh, we can try. Very well played. Alright, that's game one. Let's play another game. Yes, I was a little overly aggressive and got smacked down last game. Good luck. Let's see what I can come up with this game, eh? Alright. Are they considering a bishop exchange? That could be fun. I keep offering this and never really getting a chance to see if bishop takes, bishop, rook takes, bishop drop, bishop drop, exactly how that goes. Um, so I'm going to get super outplayed if that does happen and my opponent knows it cold. But, okay, we're not going there. 
guess we're going here instead. Uh, which could be interesting. So deep into some theory rabbit hole we go. Where we stop, who knows? We'll find out. Um, also, where am I going to castle? Uh, yeah, we'll figure all this out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. Um, yeah, no, like, seriously. I'm threatening both of these pawns with my bishop. Their bishop cannot defend both of the pawns, so I, mine can promote. But surely there's got to be some counter to this, even though their rook move is not the most popular move here. Um... Okay, they corner their bishop and defend my threat. So I could play fourth file rook at this point and only be threatening one pawn. Um, that could be interesting. <laughs> this does count as playing fourth file rook strategy. Even though we are not in your typical fourth file rook position. Um, yeah, they could move a piece to defend this pawn, and their bishop temporarily here is trapped. Um, though, if it is trapped, I should just ignore it instead of trying to win the piece. It's not like chess, where if you win a trapped piece, suddenly your position vastly improves. In Shogi, there's a lot more than just material. All the material is valuable. Um, maybe I needed to prepare a square for my bishop to retreat to. Um, maybe I still need to do this. <sighs> I don't know. Push the edge pawn, threatening to scare their bishop around a lot. Um... So now if they try anything overly aggressive with the silver, I can push them around even more. Um, but likely this edge move was just wasted. I was just super scared if this silver advances too far, something bad might happen. But that's not logical. If they move the silver, this pawn's hanging. That would be a logical way to think about this. Alternatively, there might be some reason for me to provoke this kind of pawn move. If I'm feeling excited, I guess. Um, so yeah, our king is as safe as it can get at this point. Oh, I might need to defend my center pawn. Um, because if they offer a bishop exchange... Oh, and if I were to decline it, that offer, things could get complicated. Um, okay, they have another square they could threaten to move their bishop to. I think it makes sense for me to push here. My gold can always defend this if necessary, but I want to extend the range of my rook, particularly while their king still lies in the center. Um, all right, I half expected this. Um, Let's defend some things. Other things are not so well defended, but my lance defends this file. My gold defends all these squares. So um, this is still fine. My silver is not seeing the light of day. 
Now, it would be a while before that gets active, but I'm predicting some exciting tactics might happen soon, and so I want a castle quickly. I want my gold and silver to all... I want all my pieces to be defended as quickly as possible here. Um, because things are going to get crazy very soon. Um, wait, do I want to activate my knight? Usually I don't, but here kind of makes sense. Pawn, pawn, bishop, bishop, rip, rip. Yeah, okay, they don't have enough forces attacking that just yet. They'll be bringing the silver out soon, which means I want to push the pawns. Well, no. Oh. Moving the silver again just hangs the pawn right in front of the silver. Um, yeah, so we want to hit this center pawn while it's still a nice target right between the rook and the king. Um, usually you'd be leading the attack with some other piece, but here that doesn't seem necessary or even like a good idea. Um, okay, let's try to exchange while their position's still this prone. This pawn does a good job restricting this side of the board. Uh, so tempted to bring out my knight and sack it here, but I don't see a continuation, so we'll take here instead. And if we manage to trade both bishop, or manage to trade the bishops and trade the rooks, then having the knight this prone in the center will be the least of the concerns in this position. Um, it would be nice for me to have completed Mino, but um, seizing the moment makes some sense too. I predict a pawn drop. And it's not obvious how I continue attacking. Um. It's unfortunate my rook is opposed by their rook. There are places I'd like to move my rook in the center of the board, but it's all very risky. Um, Alright, let's complete my castle, because they're spending time on their castle. I can spend one turn on mine. Um, Bishop in hand is a powerful piece, but I don't see how to use it. Um, yeah, let's uh, see if I can use my knight over here somehow. Bishop in hand is still a powerful piece. Um, I'm filled with indecision. I'll just continue advancing and putting more pressure over here. Okay, they finally committed a piece. Um...
but this makes their silver more of a target, not less of one. I was hoping to find something else clever to do with this bishop. And maybe later I'll find something else clever, but it still seems useful. Um, if I can scare away the... Oh, really? My rook is not defended. Uh, so I need to defend my rook... And maybe this time, if I retreat it, move it to a safer square. I was considering bishop takes and then trying to move the bishop away and sacrifice it, but then I lose a rook for nothing on my back rank, which does not work very well. Uh, knight takes might have been playable, but uh, there's no need for it here. In fact, that was a free pawn. Uh, that was not a pawn exchange, so they cannot interpose a pawn here. They could exchange rooks and then do a rook drop. Um, okay. Yeah, their silver defends this knight. Or their king defends the other knight. Um, so we're going to apply pressure to the knight this way. I mean, splitting their gold's makes some sense like could have made sense to exchange pawns here um but this absolutely makes sense just winning a knight i'm not saying it's easy after i win the knight but um okay interesting the dilemma here is that i want my rook to be safe but i'd also like to protect it so i could do bishop takes and then retreat the bishop somewhere but it's more important that my rook be safe um so we're gonna drop the rook all the way back so it doesn't get struck by this bishop, and this bishop's just waiting all day, all night, always waiting for the perfect opportunity to spring on my position and attack just the right thing to set off a cascade of really crazy activity. Um, it's just not happening. So, yeah, I'll take the knight. If silver takes, I can promote my bishop. If silver doesn't take... Um, well, we'll never know. So now I can chase down their other pieces with my bishop and knight. I mean, I get that the king is the target of the game. The king is what I want to pursue with all my effort. But to get there, I have to take care of some other matters first. <sighs> Save a bishop and a pawn in hand, which means they are still capable of attacking. Yeah. I don't 
don't know how to address this. Something. This is scary. I mean, taking the pawn is scary, too, because all my pieces get very loose. I thought they might do that. Um, I thought I was fine here, though. So, yeah, they do have a promoted pawn. That's a problem, but what isn't a problem these days? Um... I guess more importantly, they have a gold, and the gold could, well, it can't attack my rook from the head. It could attack my silver from the side. But yeah, I'm threatening to take this next to their silver and rook. Um, I'm also still threatening to move my bishop uh, kitty corner to the rook here. And if it moves up, then I have a knight drop to win the rook. But also, I am a large time advantage, so it's likely that we'll see this game decided by timeout. I've been avoiding bishop takes lance because the lance is in the corner, and it would take another move to activate. Oh, I see. Uh, interesting. Guess we'll take the rook. They get our promoted bishop. Uh, we fork their golds. Alright, very well played. It's an exciting game. And uh, let's play one more. Made it to 20q. <sighs> Only 20 levels left to go until we hit one die. Good luck. We've both won one game, so... Uh, should be interesting to see who of us gets two wins in a row. Um... Okay, we'll close this diagonal. Third file rook. We're going to play Mino Castle. Which just means move the silver up and the gold diagonal so that all the generals are connected in this little V shape. Uh, okay. Is he pushing this a second time? So I move my bishop to oppose this. All right, we have an aggressive strategy to deal with. Um, how best to deal with it is the question. Yeah, definitely aggressive. So the weak point is the head of my bishop. We need to do something to try to protect it. Um, if I do nothing on the edge, I get overrun here, so I do need to play into their strategy a little bit. Okay, continue castling. Um take here. I think I've misplayed. I needed to drop back the bishop, and I failed to do so. Consequently, they get to attack. Uh, see, I've misplayed this. All right, how do we recover from such a terrible misplay? I don't know. Do we recover from it? <laughs> no, not really. 
I will take this. I have to give up the bishop. And try to stop them from invading any further. And, uh, yeah, now they find the correct invasion move. Um... We attack the rook. And I've messed up, but it's okay. Maybe. Oh, my silver's not defended. I'm going to hang everything here momentarily. That's really terrible. Um. Alright, I need to try to defend things. Silver defends the rook. Gold is not defended, so we have to defend this gold here. We've given up a knight. The knight's going to shake up my entire castle. Yep. Excellent play. Alright, we've completed Mino Castle. Hooray for that. We have a knight. Let's find a way to use it. It's not looking good. So I could drop the knight, take the pawn, take the bishop. They're not going to leave the bishop there for me to take. But all I have to attack with here is a knight. So that's super awkward. Um, my gold might attack. Oh, that's not good. All right, our rook is trapped. Let's activate the rook. Here we are, our rook is active. Hooray! Well, it was active for a turn. It was one active rook. But now our opponent has the rook, and we have a lance. Um, so we just have to attack with what we have. They're going to put another rook down somewhere. Oh! They spot this sacrifice, which I have to accept unless it gets me mated. Um, if gold takes silver, they drop a bishop, my king moves, they drop a pawn. It really looks like I'm getting mated there. That looks very much like checkmate. So in which case I have to give up my gold here. Um, yeah, no, it's just... I have to defend this way. This costs me an entire gold. That is a very well-spotted sacrifice, which I just can't accept. Um, so I need to attack with what I have. Um, this is useful for blocking the bishop on this diagonal and producing some kind of threat. Um, all right, uh, we've got a lance also to attack with, um, lances are effective from long range, not necessarily from short range. Oh, we have pawns, let's use the pawns. So they've taken our center pawn, oh, oh god. Really? That's strong. I can't really resist that, can I? We'll try. It's not... <laughs> this is challenging. Alright, I'm, I'm not in check, but uh, my entire castle collapses if I don't take this thing. All right, we're in check. I can't drop a pawn. Um, silver in defense might not be a terrible idea, although it's one fewer silver I could use in offense. It's going to be a painful game. But the good news is uh, they've committed their bishop now, so can't be used right next to my king. 
Um, I was considering maybe I could get a pawn back here, but, well, let's promote, let's attack somehow here, give them something to consider. All right, and then we could take this pawn, and the bishop runs away again. Um, mm -hmm. Is there anything else I can do to attack? Let's use our lance. Alright, that puts the knight in range of my silver. So I could maybe get another knight to attack with. This lance is way too far away from this king to matter. Um, but another knight could be useful. Alright, they threaten to take the lance next to my king. I guess I have to tell them to go ahead. All right. Go um, for All right, they have one obvious king move. And one less obvious king move. Um, oh, right. Not obvious, but well played. Um, okay, so can I even attack at this point? Um, I can't place a pawn in the center. So this is my best path forward to bring the knight in silver next to the king. Um, if I push the pawn in the center, their king just escapes. So this is the way we go. Right, they take my hanging piece. I have to run. They take another hanging piece. Um... Now, where's the big sacrifice that finishes this brilliant combination they've had? Oh, that is nice. All right, so if I take that, that's mate and one. Oh, I'm sorry, they still have mate and one here. All right, well played. Good game. Yeah, so we could take a minute to look at some of the moves that were in this latest game. Um, obviously, that defensive bishop that just took my knight for free uh, was a very good move on their part. I missed that. Um, I don't think there was much I could have done at that point about it. Ever since I trapped my rook in the opening, it was just one thing after another there. So, I don't know that I could have recovered, uh, but I could have tried. So, yeah, this, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, I got off on the wrong foot here, too. So, when they do this, I need to drop back the bishop so that this doesn't strike as hard. Um, I need to drop back the bishop to the left here, so that my rook, uh, its influence can be used to oppose the attack. Because otherwise this attack can't be repelled at all. There's just no defending against it. And I fought valiantly, but they're just... Although my silver drop here might have been misplaced. Um, yeah, my main point is I didn't want everything to hang. So I might have needed to start moving this gold toward the rest of the pieces and just abandon my king. Um, it's a very compelling attack. Yeah, and then this is a good drop, too. Supporting their rook, trapping my rook. I could have run away abandoning the lance. Probably should have, but... Um, yeah, it's still a very difficult position to defend. Yeah. Perhaps so, too. 
there was just a lot of things I messed up this game, and they pounced on it um, like any strong player would. So I guess that's why I'm 20Q, and they are 1Q, is because they understand this attack, and I have yet to learn some things. And the more games we play, the more we're going to learn. Yeah, so that was exciting. Uh, are there any quiz questions based on games I've played? There are no unanswered questions at this time. So yeah, this is an exciting game. Um, made it from 21 to 20Q. We can't win two games every day, but we can sure try. And we'll see how it goes next time.